Hey there my fellow designers and creatives, hope you're all doing well. Welcome to another video in this series on redesigning a mobile app. In this video, we're gonna go ahead and look at redesigning the transaction list item of the Fold Money app. In the previous video, we went ahead and looked at redesigning the entire transaction listing screen. Basically, uh, we have we saw a list of all the transactions that are in a chronological order um, in the transactions tab. And in this video, we're gonna go ahead and dive a little bit deeper into the transaction list item itself. So without any further ado, let's get started. All right, now here are two screens. And um, what I'm gonna show you is the problems that exist with this current design of uh, the list item that they've made. Now, first of all, I already mentioned the fact that there are too many, you know, dividers and strokes and borders and surface colors is that the screen is completely noisy. It is extremely hard to focus on something. And these font sizes are honestly ridiculously huge to be very honest, right? They shouldn't have to be this big, right? And they're obviously making it this big to overcompensate the fact that everything else is grabbing attention. The point is, if everything grabs attention, then nothing grabs attention. And to sort of compensate for that, everything else grabbing attention, they've actually gone ahead and bumped up the font font size and this is I don't know this must be 18 or 20 pixel font size which shouldn't be the case and this is as this is bigger than uh, the header over here as well right so how do we make it simpler and easier and remove all unnecessary things right the first one obviously is to clean things up by removing the strokes and the dividers and everything else right now the problem here is the inconsistencies that I see over here so on this particular screen you can see here that the um, information about who it was paid or received is missing, right? And this looks very, you know, suboptimal to be very honest, where it says received from question mark, that's it, right? It doesn't really look nice uh, to, be, to be very honest, right? Um, and it feels like there's a bug or it's a placeholder text or something, right? And when you add this bank icon over here, um, and first of all, I haven't really actually even now understood why do we have these bank icons over here and not in the other things, right? So I've tried to figure out what this is and I haven't been able to figure it out to be very honest. And if somebody knows the answer, let me know in the comment sections down below. I still don't know why these bank accounts, bank icons even exist, right? And you, when you add these bank icons, you can see that the alignment completely breaks, which doesn't look great. And over here, you unnecessarily end up in situations and creating a lot of UI problems that shouldn't even exist, right? So here you're fading things away. And if this was a bigger text uh, layer, it would go you know, behind this. And here you have this other icon, which is basically excluding from analytics. So for example, when you're self-transferring, it is not really an expense or an income. Um, let's say you were just transferring from one bank account to another bank account. So you're just transferring money. It's not really an expense or an income. So you want to sort of exclude that from your anal analytics and say that, hey, this is not an expense or an income. This is just a transaction of uh, money, right? So here again, the alignment is completely broken. Um, and you know, you're, you know, adding this fading and then this icon, like, it's just complicating, you know, so much and all of this is like super unnecessary, right? And then over here, here's another one where here it says paid to question mark, which, you know, ideally shouldn't look like that. And then here you have the button to tag and when you, you can actually tap on this tag CTA over here and you can then get a new screen where you can choose the tag, but you can't do the same thing for the paid, right? And I find that to be a bit weird. If both of these elements are not available, if and if you're letting users to tap on tag, you should ideally let users to tap on paid to or received from as well, right? But to add this, you have to tap on the list item, you have to go to the transaction details screen, um, and then you have to apply there. But for tag, you can automatically do it right over here, right? So there's another inconsistency I see over there. So I decided that first of all, we need to clean up all of these scalability issues. Second of all, make it look nicer. And third of all, not have these placeholder text because that's really not good design to be very honest, right? So um, what I did was I started off by creating the most basic version. And of course, I didn't iterate way too much. I did a few iterations to come up with the, with the design. I'm not going to show you all the iterations because it's not really going to make a lot of sense. I just followed the basic patterns that are there, right? So we have like, you know, let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight data points. And at a point, we will always know the date, time, and the value, right? So here we have the date, time, and the value. So these three things are always going to be present because this is coming from a bank account, right? Now, what I did here was considering that we have all the three information, how would this card look, right? So first of all, for this tag, I added this plus icon with this dashed stroke over here, very similar to this, right? Because I didn't have, I didn't like it when it looked like this and it, you know, you just had the word tag over here. I didn't really like that. So I added that over here and as a plus icon. 
and then since it's a transaction that is an expense you did pay to someone right so rather than saying paid to question mark i just said paid right and it was it's pretty simple we have the time now the date i did not add it over here because we decided that in the transaction screen we would break down everything from a day level right so we're not going to combine everything for a particular month we would have for september 1st that would be the title and then we would have all the transactions under september then we would have august 31st and we would have all the transactions under august 31st we would not group them at a monthly level we would group them at a daily level so which is why when you are grouping it at a daily level there is no need to add the date again here in the list item right the next thing is the time so i added the time as it is we are you know 11:22 am that was fine we obviously have the value and i added the value to the right right because if you look at any list item for anything even something as ordering a cab or ordering a food item they all follow the list items always follow a certain pattern right but over here all the elements are just jumping around screaming for attention this tag is getting so much emphasis and i don't even think a tag should actually get that much emphasis it's fine to have it but it's more important important that who it was paid to and the price or or the value basically in this case um is more important right any of these other informations are really not that important all right so we we don't have the category we don't have the sub category so to explain what that means is for example you have credit card credit card is the main category and then you have these icons uh, which are different for each sub category so here this would be your regular credit card bill without any icon as such and here this one is for um lazy pay you have amazon you have a bunch of other things right so these icons are actually depicting a sub category and credit card bill is the main category right so that's also missing then we have this bank icon which i still have not understood what this bank icon actually is all right and then we have remove from analytics as well which we see over here right so from basically when we just look at this when we have absolutely no information it looks a lot better compared to this right if we just compare these two this looks a lot simpler all right the next thing is when we have the name of the payer on the pay we would obviously replace that with over here and nothing else changes on the card it looks absolutely simple and straightforward and you know it doesn't look like something is broken right so here it's paid and here it is paid to zeroda right then the next one is where we have the category as well so here in this case we have credit bill as the category and here you have the sub category so let's assume that you have only the category right you can obviously tag only the category if you want and not really the sub category so here let's say the category is investments right and for each category there is an icon that they have defined so that icon would come over here all right um and again it's not important that we need to always show the category because it's not always important for us um sometimes when you look at let's say paytm and we see this or we say lazy pay and see this or we see up uh, zero then see this we sort of know what the transaction is for so it's not really important for us to always have it up front right so that's one then i created another one where we have the sub category as well so here i added this dot and i said mutual funds right so this is from zero the paid on this time it's the investment category and then i'm showing the actual sub category right now the interesting thing to note here is that when you look at these two credit bill is the top level category but these icons are added but you are not actually explaining what these icons are so what is the point of even having these icons or my main question would be is if you're not even showing the sub categories the name of the sub category which this would be credit card this would be lazy pay what is the actual point of even choosing a sub category right why not just leave it as credit bill and why not leave it as credit bill if you're giving the ability for users to actually choose a sub category go and take that effort to add a sub category you might as well show the sub category right because in that case a sub category would be a lot more helpful than the main category itself so if you had let's say food and beverages whether it was grocery whether it was food delivery is more important than whether it was food and beverages right or basically food and drinks mutual funds or stocks or fixed deposits or crypto is more useful to the user than calling it investments right so if you're choosing a sub category have that option to showcase that right so here i've written that this is mutual funds and as you can see all of these things are super scalable and we're not falling into any problems 
Then we have this option where we have the bank um, logo itself. So the bank icon, basically. Uh, maybe I need to turn this on. So say uh, bank icon, oops, sorry. Or the bank logo, whatever it is supposed to be called, bank icon, bank logo, same thing. So here again, nothing is getting broken. Nothing is overlapping anything. It just looks simple. We just added that other additional piece of um, data point over here. Looks great. And then here as well, um, if I add these two as well, so this back to uh, 100, whoops. All right, we see this as well. Obviously this is not the best icon, but I just used some of some icon over here for now. And uh, of course, sometimes things might truncate if it crosses a lot of characters and maybe that's okay. We can sort of truncate it and leave that um, as it is. That should be absolutely fine. Right. But in most cases or 99.9% .9 cases, we won't have these two icons. So then, um, you know, it should be fine. So one of the things that we can do over here is if I could go ahead and grab all these items and come over here and paste them and press shift A to auto layout. And uh, we go ahead and uh, put them one below the other. And let's say set this to 20. All right. And uh, we put all of them over here. Okay you can see that all of them look really fine no nothing is breaking all of them look scalable all of them look fine the most important information which is basically the, the price is getting equal emphasis because it's on the right side and then to whom it is paid is on the left side everything else has less emphasis because that is not really that important right so when you look at this it looks at least to me a lot better than what we see uh, over here with too many elements placed all over with everything grabbing enough attention with a lot of placeholder text and just a big mess to be very honest in my opinion right and i think this is a much simpler um, design to be very honest i can even go ahead and put this into a simple white frame to see how that looks um maybe we can change the color of this uh, as well to surface this right um, and it looks uh, a lot cleaner to be very honest right and even over here, you can have the ability for users to tap on this avatar so that they can add the tag directly from here um, and, uh, you know, from here as well, right? Um, of course, for paid or received, we've already added the text that says paid or received. So that's absolutely fine. But if you really want to keep this ability for users to tag, we can go ahead and, you know, make sure that this is tappable and that should be fine. In fact, we could make all of these tappable as well. Um, and so that if you want to quickly change the category, maybe you selected the wrong category or you want to add a subcategory, you can tap over this and add it as uh, well, right? And this looks much better, right? So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, let me in the comment sections down below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more amazing, awesome content. I'll see you guys in my next video. So then take care and bye-bye.